Hello, parents. Thanks for joining me on this episode of the Fast Math Freebies at Home Edition. Do you have a third, fourth, or fifth grader live in the state of Florida and want to help your child prepare for the Fast Math Assessment in May? Well, if you're answering yes to all three of those questions, you are in the right place. My name is Miss McCarthy, and I am a former Florida public school teacher on a mission to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick. For years, I've been creating resources with teachers in mind. And now I'm expanding my impact to create affordable and engaging math video lessons and practice for you to use at home with your child. The following free episode is actually a part of a free course. So all you have to do is click the link in the description box, enroll in the course today, and you'll have access to all of the fast math freebies, the video lessons, and the printables for this grade. And now it's time to dive into that free episode. So let's do it. All right, fourth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video, try this one on your own first, and then when you're ready to come on back and check your work, press play and come on back and check your work. I'll see you soon. Welcome back fourth grade, let's go over this one. So it says that Liam goes to the ice cream shop and buys a cone for $4.29 and a milkshake for $6.89. If he pays with a $20 bill, how much change does Liam get back? So to do this, I'm gonna tackle that first sentence. So first he buys a cone, I'm gonna kind of draw this out, a little cone for $4.29 and a little milkshake for $6.89. So we need to Take those two amounts and join them together first, really. We're adding those together, and then we can subtract that from $20. You could also start with your $20 bill and subtract each item, so the $4.29 for the cone and the $6.89 for the ice cream, I'm sorry, for the milkshake, and then you could also get your total. But what I'm gonna do first is add these two amounts together. So $4.29 plus six dollars and eighty nine cents. Nine plus nine is eighteen. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Two plus eight equals ten plus one would be eleven. Woo, it's high up here. Nice landing, dude. Don't forget to drop down your decimal here when we add or subtract with decimals. We need to line them up and then drop our decimal down. And then we have six plus four equals ten plus one would be eleven. So we have $11.18, which is an answer choice. And if I were to stop there and select that one, I would be wrong because this is the amount that it would cost for the cone and for the milkshake. But now we need to subtract it from what? From the $20, okay? So $20 can be written like this subtract our amount of $11.18. That's the cost of the cone and the milkshake. And we have quite a few zeros here, so I'm gonna go ahead and regroup. Do, do, do. Just like that. So 10 minus eight is what? Two. Nine minus one is eight. Remember to bring down that decimal. Nine minus one is seven. Nope, it's not seven, it's eight, silly me. And one minus one is zero. So we have $8.82 in change. So the correct answer is right here. A, Liam receives $8.82 in change. Thank you so much for joining me today. And remember, if you're looking for the principle that goes along with this video, you can enroll in that free course today, which gives you access to this video and the printable and all the other videos that I've created, the Fast Math freebie episodes, all in one place for you. And you know what? If you're anything like me, it's out of sight out of mind. I know that you're busy. So why don't you go ahead and do that now? That way it's off your plate. You take care of it and you can get your instant access today. Thanks again. And I cannot wait to see you inside the free course.